Hey how it's going guys welcome back to another after video tutorial in today's tutorial i will show you how to create this easy slight text animation so let's get started okay guys i'm gonna start with a new composition i'm gonna call this slight text animation i'm gonna go with full HD resolution 24 frames per second and 5 second as resolution for the background color for now let's go with gray color now let's add our text so let's go to toolbar and select the text tool for this tutorial i will go with helvetica font you guys can choose whatever font that you like i will type slide just like that okay now i'm gonna select the selection tool and then press ctrl alt home on my keyboard to reset the anchor point and let's use the line tool to align it to the center of the composition now let's go to text properties here i will go to animate and add a position now i'm gonna open this range selector just like that okay but before that we can go to add and add a selector in this case we need a expression selector so i'm gonna select this let's also open this expression selector and we have this amount expression if you check the amount as you can see we don't need this one so i'm gonna close this up i have this expression you guys can copy this expression from the description just copy and then paste on this amount properties i'm gonna hold alt on my keyboard and then click on this amount stopwatch icon this will open the expression properties and i'm gonna press ctrl v to paste the expression basically what this expression is doing is that it will separate this text using this text index values basically if you check this position why let me increase this as you can see if you increase this s letter will be come to the initial place from the top meanwhile the l letter will be come to the initial place from the bottom like that as you can see i'm gonna set the position value to 300 hold this as the light on like that i'm gonna select this one and then press ctrl d to duplicate like that we need to animate this slider so i'm gonna call this slider out let's open this slider and then set the position value to minus 300 now we can open the range selector and then go to advance if you want different randomized order for the animation you guys can just on this so it will give random locations so now i will go with this option okay i'm gonna set the shape to ramp down and then set the easy high to 100 now go to zero second and set the offset value to minus 100 and i'm gonna create a keyframe for this one and then go to one second and set this to 100 i'm gonna go to two seconds and then press n on my keyboard to in composition here i will select these keyframes and then press f9 on my keyboard to easy ease like that now if you check the animation you will have this nice slide animation by the way we need to add uh, some opacity so it will give really nice movement i'm gonna just close this up and then select this text value and then go to animate and add an opacity property i will set this to zero and then let's rename this to opacity main make sure this opacity main selector in between slide on and slide out okay so i will place it in between on and out like that now i'm gonna duplicate this slide out property so i'm gonna select this and then press ctrl d to duplicate it now we have new properties called slide out 2 and i'm gonna open this up and then i'm gonna delete this position property as well as the expression property now i'm going to select this slide out too and then go to add and then go to property and then add a opacity now if you check the animation you will have this really cool slide animation this method is really work any text let me show you you can type whatever you like i'm gonna type text animation if you check the animation as you can see it will adjust to that text like that if you give randomized order it will give random position okay i'm gonna just undo this now you can just select this go to effect and preset and search for gradient ramp effect i'm gonna just double click to apply it now let me give this slider a little bit close to the text like that i will also give a really cool looking blue colors you guys can give whatever you like okay and yeah i'm gonna just hit ok and let's close this up because we're done with the text i'm gonna add the background so right click new solid and let's call this bg i will go with white color for the background and hit ok make sure it in the below all right if you want to increase the scale press s to scale it up like that and i hope you guys enjoy this 
make sure you hit that subscribe button as always thank you so much for the patreon supporters i wish you guys in the next one peace